happy people i'm back with another video and today i thought it would be cool to bring you another tag video i've really been enjoying doing tags tag videos for you all so that you can get to know me and i can kind of get to know you all a little bit better so i'm gonna hop right on into this one it is the youtube interview tag so it's a uh, 20 questions on here so i'll do my best to keep this video kind of short and sweet or who knows maybe you need to go and grab some tea some coffee some water Sit back and chill with me and we can get to know each other, all right? So I'm gonna hop in. The first video is, how did it feel to make your first video? So when I go back to my very first YouTube video, I believe it's a video of me dancing at Disney World. Let me double check here because it's been a long, long time since I uploaded my first video. I actually uploaded my first video maybe like, I think it was like 2008 or nine. Let me check my, let me check. I don't even remember. I joined YouTube in April of 2008. And my first video, it was posted on. Okay, so my first video was posted nine years ago. It was posted on, let me, let me look at it here. It was posted on November 3rd of 2010. So when I started my channel, I didn't even post anything for like three years. And I'm gonna actually show you all this video. It was me dancing in Jamaica where, when I was on a mission trip. It's just a one minute video. So this is the video. I don't know if y'all can see here. <laughs> so that's them teaching you how to dance. It's such an old video, oh my goodness. That's, I don't know if y'all can tell, but that's me right here. <laughs> we were remodeling the school. I love dancing, y'all. I might not be the best at it, but I enjoy it. That is my very first video, y'all. Uh, it was posted nine years ago, and it was on November 3rd, which is actually uh, my mom's birthday, so that's interesting. But um, yeah, how did it feel? Let me go back to the question. I didn't forget. Um, yeah, how did it feel to make your first video? That wasn't even something that I had anticipated uploading to YouTube. I didn't even record the video. Um, I think a fellow missionary who was there on the trip um, just saw me interacting with some of the local people there and captured the moment. And I don't even know what prompted me to upload it on YouTube, but I did, and it's been there since. Did you show anyone your first video before you uploaded it? Again, um, I I'm sure other people saw the video who were there on the mission trip with me, but it wasn't like, hey, I'm going to upload this video. What do you guys think? It wasn't anything like that. I think I just like randomly uploaded it. So do your friends and family know about your channel? So that's a very interesting question. Some of my friends know, um, but a majority of my friends and family do not know that I do YouTube. It's something where I actually wanted to keep it separate from my personal life. Um, more so in the fact that um, I wanted to see how like naturally and organically my channel would grow without me having to promote it to friends and family. I'm sure that if I told people, uh, told more people, I would probably have more subscribers and get more comments and things like that. But um, overall, I kind of, I like to move in silence with a lot of things. So I'm just personally excited to see how my channel is going to grow just organically. Like if I didn't tell anybody just to see um, what people, it, how how people gravitate towards my channel what interests them um you know things like that so i don't to me i don't like um the idea of having people say hey i got a youtube channel you should go subscribe there's nothing wrong with that but that's just not not the type of person i am and i don't know if you all notice this or not either but in none of my videos do i ask you all to subscribe to my channel or do notifications or anything like that which might be a bad thing on my behalf but i'm more so of the person where it's like if you like my content if you like what i'm presenting you will subscribe it's not something i have to tell you to do so 
um yeah that's that's kind of my take with that uh maybe i should start promoting myself with my friends and family i think eventually i will but just for now i just like to see how things can go organically are any of your friends and family subscribed to your channel yes they are um the handful of friends and family i have told um i would say maybe 90 percent of them um, got on and subscribed which makes up maybe about 10 of my subscribers um but it's kind of cool to know that i got you know some close folks seeing what i'm up to on the tube you know uh the next question is did anyone think you were crazy for being a youtuber no uh again not a lot of people knew i was doing it um and even i think maybe my one close friend uh, i told her about it before i uh, got into it seriously so i actually didn't seriously start doing youtube until about a year ago um previous to that like i said i've had my channel for almost 10 years now no over 10 years yeah 2008 yeah so i've had my channel for a very very long time was it eight or seven i don't remember but i've had my channel for a very long time so um it's not seriously that i start um wanting to put out content and do videos until like a year ago um so when i told my friend you know i wanted to do you know youtube and i kind of told her some of my ideas she was like that's great go for it like i have a very good support system who they encourage me to always do some of the crazy ideas and things that i want to do so i'm really very blessed in that in that area okay number six is how and why did you choose your youtube name again i chose it a really long time ago but um my first name is rosa and so my youtube uh channel name is kind of a play off of that um my name it has a z in it um and so i went ahead and named my channel rose 318 um, and rose is spelled r-o-z-e and um 318 stands for uh, the month and day for my birthday which is march the 18th so that's where the rose 318 comes from and as you will see too on my instagram page uh i actually have two instagram pages now but the one that's like my personal page i've had for a while it is simply rose 318 so again kind of playing off that same thing and then the second channel which i recently created um maybe about a couple of weeks ago um that is my all things beauty where i actually do try to promote my youtube channel and and kind of cross promote the two platforms with my beauty youtube channel again i like to kind of keep things separate i move with islands y'all but that channel i mean that page it's called rose beauty 318 so it all kind of plays on that uh, my name essentially so um what have you gained from being a youtuber being a youtuber I've, i feel like i've gained a sense of uh, pushing myself to be more creative uh naturally i'm not a very creative person i'm kind of simple and um to the point with a lot of things and so youtube has kind of pushed me to try to think outside the box get creative with the type of content that i'm um promoting or well not even promoting but the kind of content that i'm putting out into the universe um eventually i am going to take my channel uh, hopefully in a different direction um outside of being able to show people some cool affordable products i also really enjoy uh, motivating people and helping them reach their fullest potential and so you all will see every so often i'll throw in a type of uh, motivational video or something that kind of encourages people and so that's kind of really what i would hope that my channel could be uh, but for now i'm really just enjoying you know showing you all some cool affordable products are you interested in doing giveaways you know i thought about doing a giveaway um but you know my only fear with doing giveaways is that you know people will subscribe to my channel who don't authentically actually want to see my content they'll just kind of subscribe just to get the giveaway and so i don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing i have considered it and it's something i might possibly do in the future do you allow subscribers to send you gifts so you know i actually i don't even have a way for subscribers to send me gifts if they wanted to um y'all let me know down in the comments below if you all want me to start a p.o box and if you want to send me stuff then um i'd be happy to do that but no they don't send me anything and um would i allow it sure why not doesn't like getting gifts <laughs> The next question is how do your kids feel about their mom being on youtube i actually don't have any children so i can't answer that question how do you choose your topics a lot of times i get inspiration from other youtubers um and then i just kind of think about what I, it's three ways i get my uh, content one i think about what it is that i want to do and what i like recording and filming Two, I get inspiration from other YouTubers. And so if I see a video that I liked or enjoyed or whatever, 
um, I'll normally, um, you know, do a similar video and then I'll normally try to shout out the people who inspired me to do the video. Um, and then number three, I just kind of have like little brainstorming sessions. I actually have a long list of like different topics and things that I want to talk about. Um, and I save it as a note on my phone. And then whenever I get up early one morning or something and I'm just like, oh, I'm kind of in the mood to film a video. I just kind of scroll through that list of different ideas and then I sit down and I record. That's actually how I did this video today. I was up early and I was like, you know, I kind of want to record something. And so, yeah, I just hopped on and turned my camera on and here we are. Would you consider collaborating with others to make videos? Definitely. I would love to see my community grow, to collaborate with other YouTubers. I get so much inspiration off of YouTube. So I would love to collaborate with some other cool creative YouTubers out there. So if anybody want to collaborate, reach out. I'm open. Other than makeup and fashion, what do you like to watch on YouTube? Um, you know what, you guys? I think people really underestimate the power of YouTube and how much you can use it as a tool and resource to further progress in life. I, you know, and it's funny because I, I hype up YouTube a lot to my friends and family because you can learn so much off of it. Yes, I watch makeup videos. Yes, I watch fashion videos. But more often than not, you will see me researching different topics that I want to know more information about. Right? I've learned everything from how to start a new career, how to start my own business, how to uh, fix random things around the house, how to uh, be more presentable when, I don't know, trying to be like in a professional environment. I've learned... Um, just everything. I've learned how to do my hair off of YouTube. I learned how to do my nails off of YouTube. They ain't done right now, but I've learned how to do my nails off YouTube. I just, every, a lot of things that, that I, if I don't know how to do and I'm looking for information, a resource of how to do it, I come to YouTube. YouTube is my Google, even though I know YouTube is owned by Google, but YouTube is my Google. I always come to YouTube first for information and then I go to Google and then I do my research, get books, articles, journals, things like that. But as far as just like doing research and just wanting this, it's, and it's almost like you're talking to somebody. So I don't know, YouTube is a tool and or resource for me. And that's something that I really like. So recently I've been watching a lot of motivational videos, um, self inspiration, self, self help, motivation, inspiration videos. Um, I'm currently studying, um, I'm learning more about a new industry that I'm trying to get into that's going to be my new career path. Um, and I use, you. I literally almost every day I watch you, uh, video, YouTube videos in that industry. And it just really helps me stay up to date, stay current. Um, YouTube is a resource, y'all. If y'all are not using it for more than just entertainment, y'all are really missing out on some of the great um, benefits, the great information, the great knowledge that's at your fingertips that YouTube has to offer. So whatever you want to know, literally type it into the search bar for YouTube and you will find out. It's a video for everything. Okay, so let me get off my little preaching there. Uh, have you ever uploaded the wrong video? No, I've never uploaded the wrong video, but I have uploaded videos that I didn't want to uh, go live or publish right away. So I think there's been times where I've maybe uploaded a video. No, if it published, I would just let it stay up there. But a lot of times I've uploaded a video and I just had it published too early. But I've never uploaded the wrong video. Which do you prefer, filming alone or filming with others in the room? Definitely filming alone. I get... I, I, I'm easily distracted, y'all. So I like to be in a room, quiet, by myself, no background noise happening, just me, myself, and I. And that's when I can think the clearest um, and present the most um, nice uh, quality content is when I'm filming alone. You don't have to give names, but are there any YouTubers you that just irk you? If so, what irks you about them? Okay, uh, yeah, I have a few YouTubers that... Not many though. I mean, overall, I like everybody on YouTube. I think people are out there um, living their best life, doing their best life, you know, trying to support their family and themselves. And so um, I like most YouTubers. There's a few where I'm just like, my eyebrow kind of raises where I'm just like, hmm, what are your intentions here? Um, but even them, there are certain qualities about them that I like. And so I'll even watch them even if I'm not the biggest fan of them. So um, I don't know. I'm somebody who I try to see the good in everyone. So, oh, but what irks me about a certain YouTuber, I don't know, I just feel like they're somewhat authentic, but not really as to where, you know, their goal is to get you to uh, purchase whatever product they're promoting, but not really 
they might or might not actually use the product. So those type of YouTubers throw me off a little bit, but hey, people gotta do what they gotta do. They gotta pay their bills, so I'm not mad at it. What is some general advice you would give to someone wanting to start a YouTube channel? Just start. Don't think about it. Don't overanalyze things. Start with where you are. Literally go back, watch my first video. Watch my video that I posted maybe a couple of years ago when I was in the Peace Corps. Watch some of my videos I started posting just one year ago. Y'all, quality was horrible. Didn't know what I was doing. I'm fumbling around. I started um, with, as of last year, I started with my camera phone and I had um, it stacked up on a lot of books and I had to sit in a living room which had somewhat yellow lighting. Wasn't even good lighting, but just start with where you are and continue to put out um, consistent content and people who like you will gravitate towards you and they'll subscribe and you'll have a nice little community like I have right now. I actually just reached 300 subscribers so that's a really big milestone for me. Um, so I just want to take this time and say thank you to everyone for subscribing to my channel. I definitely appreciate the love and support. So yes, I am excited to see um, my YouTube family continue to grow. So yes, thank you all for all the love and support. Have you thought about transitioning from YouTube to your own website? Actually, no, I don't think that my uh, channel was big enough yet for me to consider doing a whole separate website and um, trying to make like a business out of it uh, just yet. I, that would ultimately be the goal, you know, I'd love to be able to grow and, um, you know, do some sponsorships, partnerships, things like that um, to potentially turn it into a business but if not I'm also just enjoying making videos and putting out content that other people enjoy and that I enjoy. What are some opportunities that you've gotten because of YouTube? Um, I've not gotten any like actual I guess like business opportunities as of yet. Um, I've had some people reach out to me about doing reviews on certain products and items but they wanted me to pay for it so I'm like mm, I don't really know that that's how that works. However, I have had a great opportunity of meeting some really cool people on YouTube. Um, some of my subscribers are some diehards and um, you know, it, I got some YouTube friends so that's a great opportunity where I've had to kind of connect, connect the network for people from all over the world that I probably wouldn't have met otherwise. Last question here is what when you first started, how did you get the word out that you were making videos? Did you just upload and hope for the best or did you connect with fellow YouTubers? So I think I did a combination of the last two. Um, and I just kind of, when I think about starting YouTube, I really think about last year as far as when I started to take it seriously. I've uploaded here and there sporadically over the years, but last year was when I actually started taking it seriously. And um, I just uploaded and hope for the best. It wasn't something that I told a lot of people about. I just wanted to see who would naturally gravitate towards my channel. Um, connecting with fellow YouTubers, I became more active as far as like leaving comments and liking people's videos and just showing support. I, there, I'm very, a silent, stealthy person. I just kind of like move below the radar. And so there may have been YouTubers that I was following for years and never left a comment, never liked anything. Um, but then I got to the point where I was just like, you know, why not show them love and support on their channel because I, I like them. I like the content they've been putting out. They've been helpful to me in my journey. Why not let them know those things? Because I guess I understand it better now being a YouTuber where when you get comments, when you get likes, when you get support and people saying that they like what you're putting out, it really encourages you to continue going. So um, yeah, y'all, that is my, the YouTube interview uh, tag. I hope you all enjoyed it. And I hope you all understand a little bit better about me and my YouTube journey, um, what encouraged me to start. Um, and again, you know, I encourage those who are interested in starting a YouTube channel, just start. It don't matter if your videos are horrible, if your videos are great, if you got, you know, spectacular editing skills, none of that matters. Start, create some content, put it out there. You will grow and get better. I promise you. All right, y'all. So as always, um, leave some love in the comments down below and I'll see you in my next video. I hope you have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye.